Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll show you my latest purchase. This is the Launch X431 OBD2 Bidirectional Scan Tool. This is specially designed for Honda and Acura vehicles. This is a bidirectional scanner, meaning it can activate components, helping you more accurately diagnose problems. You can also perform most reset services after repair, such as the oil light reset, tire pressure reset, gear reset, injector coating, ABS bleeding, suspension level calibration, crankshaft, relearn, and an idle reset. The idle reset is very important if you're doing a throttle body cleaning. I have a video on that if you need to know how to do that, and I'll link that at the end of this video. My tire pressure monitor light has been coming on intermittently. Let me show you how easy it is to diagnose this. After that, I'll show you how to do a throttle body reset. Let's get started. I'm plugging the OBD2 connector in. I already have the key on. And then we're gonna check the codes on the tire pressure monitoring system. So just come over here and you press diagnostics. And then I gotta pick which vehicle I have. It's either an Acura or a Honda, and I have the Honda. There's the version. I have a 16 pin DLC. I'm in the USA. And that's what it is. That's my VIN number in 2007 Honda Element. And we're going to do a health report. So a health report is going to scan all the modules and it is going to take some time, probably about five minutes. So engine cannot be running. Okay. And it's going to do its scan. So it's going to scan all my modules for any codes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video. That way you don't have to wait, but it does take about five minutes. All right, so here's my trouble codes on the ABS unit. It looks like I've got uh, some trouble codes there, but that's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the tire monitoring system here. So what I can do is I can come over here and I can press that arrow. There we go. And that says read fault codes and here's my code so tire 4 has low air pressure and tire 3 pressure sensor transmission failure so this I can fix with some air this one I need a tire pressure sensor so it looks like it's time to go ahead and replace the tire pressure sensors if I want to get that light off Next, I'll do the idle reset procedure. Um, you'd want to do this once you clean your throttle body. And the reason you'd clean your throttle body is if you're having idle problems. I have a video on cleaning the throttle body. I'll link it at the end of the video. I also have a video on a manual procedure to reset that throttle body. But actually, using this tool is a whole lot more simple and it's faster and it seems to idle a little bit better too. So let me grab the tool and let's go do the idle learn procedure. All right, so I'm at the same screen as I was before and this is one of the reasons I bought this tool. Now if I go over here to service functions, I have 
all these things of what I can do. Most of these I can't even use on this car because it's too old. But if you have a newer car, you're going to be able to do all sorts of stuff. And in some of these newer cars, you can't even do the brakes unless you have this right here, brake pad replacement. But we're going to do the electronic throttle sensor reset. And that's going to make it idle better. So first, let's do the ECM PCM reset. And please ensure the gear shift is in neutral. Set the parking brake. Stop the engine. We're stopped. And just say OK. ECM PCM has been reset. All right. Um, on some vehicles, the idle may be learned, but we're going to fix all that real quick. So I don't even need to read that to you. All right, so now we're going to do the electronic throttle control, the TAC test. So this is going to test everything is working okay. So it's going to control the throttle actuator relay. You press the brake pedal, ensure the um, car is in park in neutral. So it's testing the actuator. I can hear it going. It's all finished. Everything's going. It says go to the next test. So it's checking the angles and making sure everything is not sticking. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear the throttle moving. All right, tests are normal. Now we're going to go to the TP check. Equipment will reset the TP learning values. Need to clean the throttle body at the same time if reset the TPM learning values. Okay. Do you wish to reset TP values? Yes. Stop the engine, ensure the gear shift is in the neutral position. Set the parking brake. Okay. So TP values have been cleared. Clean the throttle body. Refer to the service manual. Now I have a video on cleaning the throttle body. So I'll link that at the end of the video. All right, so now you want to do the learning procedure. So you'd start the engine and let it idle until it becomes stable. You'd ensure the all electronics, the AC, the speaker lights have been turned off. Turn the vehicle on, um, wait two seconds, start the engine and keep the engine RPM at 3000 RPMs uh, in park or neutral until the radiator fans start to run or the engine coolant temperature reaches 90 degrees Celsius or 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure the engine runs at idle for five minutes afterwards with the throttle fully closed. So those are the procedures and I have a video on that and I'll link that also. And that's it. I'm not going to go through that because it would take way too long. But here's all the instructions to take care of that. So here's a few more things I do want to share. If you go to system selection, you can go over to um, this one here, engine systems. It'll communicate. And then you can read your engine fault codes or anything like that. But you can also go to data stream, auto select, and then you can read any of your sensors right there. If I select all and say OK, here's all my sensors right here. AC clutch is off, you know, just any information you want. And then also if I come back here, go back. A little further here. If I go to active tests, I 
I can do active tests. And I could do, here's one, AC clutch. So I can turn on and off the AC clutch. If you listen, you'll hear the AC clutch turn on and off. On. Off. On. Off. So you can test your AC clutch. Also, you can test your VTEC solenoid, your EVAP test. Um, we already did the TAC, the throttle actuator control. I can turn on the fuel pump. Watch this. There's my fuel pump on. So you can do a fuel pump test. Turn it off. Injector test. VTEC test. So there's an unlimited amount of tests that you can do, depending on the year of your car. This one's limited. ABS braking, four-wheel steering, all sorts of stuff. For $180, this is a great buy. I hope you learned something in today's video. I really think this is a must-have tool if you're working on just Hondas. They pack a lot of extra features in here and it's only like $180 for this tool. And it is a bi-directional scan tool and that's kind of unheard of for this price. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.